<clears throat> yeah, so I, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, themes, you're not gonna get much customization out of that. Uh, at best, you know, you have the four wallpapers you can change. Um, and the phone does come with quite a few. Uh, even then, it's very easy to go ahead and change the ones you have. Uh, and you can change them individually. Um, <clears throat> you know, each one can be different. Or you can get image sets that are, you know, once again, they could be different, like this one. This image set has four different uh, things. Some will have it looped, so it's, you know, um, let me show you. So you can, you know, the, so each image is sort of connected to each other. Uh, let's do the Chinese kite, for example. Uh, they'll be linked, you know, as one big giant image, sort of like what you know, you know, Google does. You pan across and you see the mountain the whole way through here. You know, you see a bunch of kites on a string, and they're all stuck together. And then you know, sometimes the, the this kite will be looped to this one, and it'll be one big old circle panoramic view. Um, that's the extent of customization you're going to get on this platform. Uh, so if you were expecting something like Symbian, where you can change every little thing, and uh, it's not going to happen. So uh, that's not to say you know there won't be cool wallpapers or cool you know you know theme colors. Uh, I'm sure some of these awesome uh, guys who are on Symbian will, will come out and do some good things with this uh, customization with this. But it, it's fairly limited. Um, if you do want more wallpapers, uh, you know go to your repository. Um, you know you go to more application manager. Uh, and then you know download and then go to desktops uh, or you can go to uh, n900wallpapers.com um, and if you want you know on there you can actually upload wallpapers as well uh, let me show you catalogs out of order uh, desktop will have the I installed the one wallpaper that was on here, which was the Milky Way one. Uh, but N900 wallpapers will have that. And if you're so inclined, you know, you can upload uh, wallpapers onto that website as well. You can upload four individually or, you know, four as a set and it'll ch or one big image and it'll chop it up into four for you. So you don't have to do any work. You just upload whatever you want. Um, and and 900 wallpapers.com will take care of the rest. And, you know, other people can download it and rate it and whatever. Uh, the other key thing about MIMO 5 that sort of blows all the other systems out of the water besides the multitasking uh, is the browser. Uh, it's a full-fledged browser. It's not a mobile browser. Um, it doesn't present as a mobile browser to the websites. Uh, I think Google, uh, here the default Google search shows it as a, mo a mobile website, but that's because it's set up this way in here. But if you go to google.com, Google will recognize it as a computer browser. Um, and uh, you know this is I think what sets it apart from everything else um, you see everything as it is and uh, you know you can you could play the full uh, flash content let me open up another browser window while this one's loading oh, it's already done loading uh, you can see full flash content it has flash 9.x whatever's out there right now 10.0 is coming soon and even if 10.0 comes to other mobile browsers, still not the same. I don't, you know, you won't get the same interface as you do somewhere else. You know, I don't need an app for YouTube because I have full YouTube. I don't need an app for whatever because I have access to their entire website as it is. You know, Google Wave works on here, for God's sakes. It's crazy. Uh, so this is a full-fledged browser, Flash and all. Uh, Hulu will be slow, like I said. 10.0 is what they use for whatever reason. Uh, <clears throat> no one else seems to use that, so everything else is fine. Vimeo or whatever, they all load fine. Uh, you can load up a, uh, a YouTube thing. You know, it ha as a horrible example, I you know I, I should work out more and eat less uh, fast food. But I was in the car, and you know I was coming home, and. Uh, Uh, on the on the way home, I was hungry for pizza. Didn't have Domino's number on me, 
So I just went to their website. Uh, you know, I typed in my address, my home address. I ordered the pizza online from their website, just as it would on the computer, uh, directly. And you know, I came home, and it was you know five minutes later, it was there. You know, I didn't I didn't need their phone number. I didn't need an application. I didn't need anything. So uh, you know, and uh, on their website, the full flash content loaded up just fine. Had a little picture of the pizza and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, that's a bad example though. Um, but yeah, you know, full flash content. This is a song. I'm not endorsing the song. If I had my way, I'd play you some Triumph or something like that. Go Canadian rock bands. Um, so yeah, uh, you know what? I don't have to sit here and wait for it to load. It'll load in the background. Oops, there you go. I can go do something else in the meantime. And let it load. Uh, and, and as you can see, it plays just fine in the uh, background. And it will keep on playing. So you can go to YouTube. You know, for example, if I don't have a song, I throw it up on YouTube. And I go do my work on something else. And it's playing in the background just fine. Just like I do on the computer. You know, honestly, there's nothing else to show you. Um, <clears throat> the only thing is sometimes, you know, sometimes, okay, this time it work. Sometimes links, I think it doesn't register to the press uh, or for the browser. You know, that's a little annoying. Let me turn this to the uh, The browser is very quick, too, by the way. Um... It loads everything fast, so you know even if you you know oh, oh uh, and try to stop something in between, you probably already loaded the page. For example, right now I try to stop it and it went on through. Uh, the cool thing they have they have is this visual history, and you know when Android first came out, I or Chrome came out, I was assuming I think it was Android or Chrome, I forget, I get confused now. Uh, I was assuming they would have something like this. Uh, you know Nokia sort of always had that 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 micro history in their in their browsers. Simeon's had that always, but I would have thought they would have put, implemented something like this, and this is very cool and neat. Obviously, this now, uh, whether it's so useful in here, I don't know, because the thing is, this thing is so good at multitasking, I actually don't ever open anything in the same window. I go ahead and pop it almost always into a new window, therefore my history is only, you know, valid for one page, really, you know, one or two pages. Uh, and while this is a cool idea, it is kind of annoying if you're, for example, you know, you just want to go back right now. I just want to go, go back really quick. Uh, I know there's a keyboard shortcut for that, uh, which is another cool thing this thing has. But, you know, if I don't have the keyboard open, you know, to have to go back, to select this. It's, it's a little annoying not to have a back button that goes quickly there. But if you do all your browsing in one, one giant window, then that's good for you thing is, uh, this thing is such a killer at multitasking, I just go ahead and pop up and make a new window always. Uh, there's, I don't see a need to, to do that. Um, web browser overall is good. It handles pop-ups just fine. You can do a hover mode with a mouse by uh, you know, scrolling in from the side and you can hover over stuff and see where the link goes to. Also, if you tap that, you can you know, copy and paste what you want. Uh, and then, you know, to copy and paste. Uh, now, it would have been cool if uh, you could just hold it there and do that. But all you have to do is control, uh, you know, like I do on the computer, control C, control V to paste. Uh, and, and the same thing happens there, and it's kind of cool. Oops. Uh, the only annoying thing is, and this probably has to do more with the keyboard than anything else, is for sometimes these little Java or uh, little flash pop-ups that happen, you have to type in a number. And I'll use Domino's pages as an example since I did that just yesterday. Uh, the number keys don't work. And this happens on some flash pages as well with flash pop-ups. You know, you have to, you know, you can't do uh, the symbol key and the number. You have to actually hold this down. And this is where the sort of the cramped keyboard, the three row kind of gets annoying, is you're trying to hold down this and try to hit one at the same time. And you know, that just doesn't work, especially if you have man hands. It doesn't work. So, um, I think that's something they can improve with the keyboard, though, rather than the browser. 
Uh, overall, browser is pretty good. I don't have too many complaints about it. It's fast, it's quick, and it loads everything. What else do you need?